Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Fight Focus. And for today's video, we will be covering the scariest kicks in MMA that bursted livers. Also, if you enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and comment what video you want to see next. Let's get to it. Ask any fighter where's their least favorite spot to get hit, it would probably be the liver, ah, most of the time. Whether it's a punch or a kick, the liver is one of the worst places to get hit. People that have gotten hit in the specific spot have labeled the pain the closest feeling to death without actually dying. For this video, we have compiled a list of instances where MMA fighters kicked their opponents with insane power that it came close to rupturing their livers. Number 12, Angelo Rubino. This is a good frame there to create some space, free themselves off the cage. Yeah, I oh, and that's a bad low blow. Oh. Oh. Angelo Rubino scored a brutal liver kick knockout in the first minute of the first round of his welterweight bout with Martin Wouters at Cage Warriors 94 in Belgium on that Saturday night. After failing on a flying knee attempt, the Italian connected with a beautifully timed liver shot that stopped the Belgian in his tracks. Rubino improved his record at 8-3 with his insane KO. Number 11, Mirko Krokop. In his early time with Pride, he had fought his third victim Heath Herring, whom he defeated via body kick. In the same way, Fedor rewrote ground and pound. Broke up in total control right now. Liver, it hurt him. It was a liver kick. Boss, the fight is... The Texas Crazy Horse repeatedly angled to take the fight to the ground, but Krokop frustrated him with his flawless sprawl, leaving Herring little choice but to try his luck on the feet. The Croatian fighter sent his larger foe back to the drawing board with a blistering kick to the liver before capping the carnage with a barrage of punches just 3 minutes and 17 seconds in. Number 10, Luis Santos. Now this one is going to want to make you take an Advil. Abo rather the explosive striker, he looks confident, he looks relaxed. Like I said earlier, when Evie and all the body kicks dropped him and out of Veteran welterweight fighter Luis Santos scored his 37th career knockout at one championship pursuit of greatness when he put a stop to Daichi Abe via first round knockout via liver kick. The fight didn't last long, in just 33 seconds Santos blasted Abe with three nasty kicks to the body. The third strike landed directly to Abe's liver and forced the former UFC fighter to cover up and fall to the canvas. No insurance shots were needed as Santos's damage was already done. Number 9, Juliana Velasquez. You gotta feel bad for Rebecca Ruth on this one. After 10 minutes, John. Oh, and again, Velasquez. Staggering Ruth. Hurting stop, stop, stop. Ruth. And this. Stop. She got hit to the. Velasquez faced American fighter Rebecca Ruthless Ruth at Beltor 197 at the Family Arena in Missouri. Round 3 began with Velasquez throwing a ruthless combination of left and right strikes, followed by a kick to Ruth's stomach, causing Ruth to collapse in pain as the referee called the bout's end at 19 seconds of the round. Number 8, Marcin Pracnio. Ever seen a kick to the body that shut a fighter's lights off? For images right now, I mean, that, that thing is not working right. Oh! Body shot shuts him down! Liver oh, shot. Marcus wow. Pracnio! This painful finish came right at 56 seconds into the second round. A nice body kick from Marcin Pracnio ended Isaac Villanueva's night. Pracnio landed beautiful kicks in the first round, and after Villanueva shifted to southpaw, Pracnio landed the winning goal. The sound of the kick was by far the most painful sound probably heard when it comes to body kicks. I mean, the second the kick landed, Isaac instantly went to the floor. Number 7, Joey David. This one is one of the cooler spinning back kick finishes ever seen. Joey Davis needs to start moving that head. Oh. Nice spinning back kick. That hurt. 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 This fight never went to the ground, where Davis figured to have an advantage over Butler. Davis, who trained at Body Shop MMA in Lakewood, spun and planted his right foot in Butler's right ribs. Butler paused and went down, Davis jumped on the down fighter, delivering two punches before the fight was called off. Number 6, Amir el -Zharkaev. Russian fighter Amir al picked up a TKO win at ACB 34 with a savage kick to his opponent's liver. Amir executed a brutal combo that sent Dmitry Tamayev crumpling to the mat. Tamayev clutched his side and couldn't continue after the stunning double kicks found their mark. 
The technique used by Elisher Kaev is called a two-touch spinning back kick and is rarely seen in any form of competition because of its difficulty. Number 5 Dennis Seaver He is no doubt the king of spinning back kicks. Tire time. Looked like Seaver was trying to set something up. Yep, there it is. And he got him with his head. Nate Moore, the better wrestler, won the first round with excellent top control. The second round was a stand-up affair, with Seaver finding his range in the exchanges. Both rounds were high paced and the fight was excellent as a spectacle. The fight was looking to go to a decision when all of a sudden Seaver threw a spinning back kick straight out of the Sakuraba school. An injured Nate Moore was unable to continue and Seaver won knockout of the night. Number 4 Rafael Carvalho This one was crazy. Against the cage pushes Halsey to the center of the ring. Then Carvalho drops Halsey with a giant kick. To the, the underdog Brazilian melted former champion Brandon Halsey with a beautiful second round liver kick to complete a stunning comeback and seize the vacant Bellator middleweight title in the main event of Bellator 144. The 29 year old Brazilian fighter was an exorbitant underdog heading into the matchup but as the saying goes, that's why they fight. I think we can all agree that Brazilians are pretty ruthless kickers in the sport of MMA. Number 3 Alistair Overeem this kick was the equivalency of getting hit by a roided up horse. Alistair Overeem had a simple approach going into this fight against Brock Lesnar, which was target his vulnerable liver throughout the fight. Brock Lesnar was stopped by Overeem in the very first round of their match after taking a vicious kick to the liver. Even Brock said it himself it felt like he got kicked by a horse. Number 2 Mirko Krokop Krokop was the last guy you wanted to get kicked by. Cautious opening round, but you know when Mirko Krokop's in the fight again going Oh, he's got a liver oh, kick! Liver shot. It's over and out! Volopovich was riding a 6 fight win streak and coming off a knockout over Mark Coleman when he took on Ibrahim Magomedov at Pride Critical Countdown 2005. Krokop proved in this fight that he had the most lethal kicks in all of Pride by finishing Magomedov with a swift body kick in the first round. Looking at the effects of the kick on Ibrahim, you can't help but to feel sorry for the guy. The power on it was so obvious because of the grimace on Magomedov's face. Number 1 Lawrence Tracy Now this sound was pretty bad. Jordan made his debut against Daniel Ballard at Raged UK MMA 5 back in 2016. The deadly finish came in the first round when Tracy had a spinning tornado kick that landed right on the side of Ballard, folding him instantly. The ref didn't immediately stop the fight, as he let Jordan finish the fight with multiple punches. The sound on this kick was so loud that everyone exclaimed as soon as they heard the terrible noise. And that right there concludes this video. If you made it this far, feel free to let us know how we did in the comments below. Alright MMA fans, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, make sure to hit the notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Also, don't forget to comment below what video you want to see next.